Kanye West, so he did, he had a whole album, which I don't remember what it was called. This is like two or three years ago, probably. Gospel album. He had his Jesus moment, big conversion fairly recently. What's the date on this thing? March 15, 2024. Kanye West says he has issues with Jesus. I prayed and he didn't show up. And also, I, I'm not sure how much we'll talk about this, but he he did mention that, well, there's a possibility. It's been rumored and he hasn't denied it that he might be getting into the porn industry. But he said... Uh, much more lucrative, probably. Yeah. Which came first, the denial or the porn? Yeezy and Ty Dolla Sign stopped by Big Boy TV to discuss all things vultures on Friday. This is March 15th. Vultures? Interview took not the uh, John Mayer album uh, or the song. That's how white we are. <laughs> like, we think of things in John Mayer. <laughs> we're over 40 and we're white. I'm over 50. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're over 40 still. 50 is over 40. No, and you're a math teacher. No. I'm over, <laughs> we're going to still 50. wait on your brain. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. Why don't you just sit the next few plays out? <laughs> Stop! Stop! <laughs> uh, Big Boy began by asking West about his current religious feelings, and feelings might be the best word. <laughs> and West was more than happy to explain his outlook. He said, I have my issues with Jesus. There's a lot of stuff I went through that I prayed, and I ain't see Jesus show up. I had to put my experience in this world, my experience with my children, my experience with other people, my experience with my account, my experience with my brand, and my experience with the level of music I was dealing with in my own hands that's a problem does he describe <clears throat> later on what he means by jesus not showing up next quote a lot of times i feel like in our society in america people christians we depend on jesus so much that we won't put in the work ourselves the main thing i don't rock with is like i'm gonna pray for you it's just like you can actually physically do something yourself too more than just praying we're so in this mentality that that's all that needs to happen, but we ain't praying our way out of prison. We ain't praying our way out of the abortion clinics. We ain't praying our way to get our land back that is always ours after gentrification, after the Harlem Renaissance and Black Wall Street was burnt to the ground. Them prayers ain't working. It'd be interesting to ask Kanye. Can we get Kanye on? I was, yeah, Kanye, oh, I, if you're listening, <laughs> I mean, speakpipe.com slash bros. <laughs> Leave us a voicemail. Wait, can you do another one where I'm not laughing? Yeah, I'll, I'll be I can't serious. wait like, for that to I'm come just in. Stepping on my lines. <laughs> uh, I I would wonder like it's what it sounds like is that Kanye has a an idea in his head of how prayer is supposed to work, and that it is it's it's a request line, <laughs> and that um that you're supposed to put in your request, and if they don't get answered, then something's wrong. Yeah, or no, it doesn't it doesn't right. work. Yeah, no. I mean, I I. Don't know if I I didn't go into Christianity thinking that, but when things went when things went sideways because I literally just when I look reflect back I'm like you were not following the spirit you were just going off into human land of like Ooh, little, I want I want I want personal and, responsibility there and, Jeff yeah and some of it was you know praying for things but it it certainly wasn't you know praying for like oh I hope I win the lottery so I can you know be a millionaire or so things go my way. It, you know, and I'm thinking Kanye was like, you know, if I go this way, then, you know, everything will, you know, just kind of roll in the way I want it to. And that is not, I mean, a life in Christ is you're getting refined. You're not promised anything. He's not, not, not he's at not all. promising you that all of these things are going to be okay. And so it, it, I, I'm not saying that to like shit on Kanye having a, a, a rough patch in life. That's not it at no. all. I'm just saying like, Part of what I hear there is someone who's new to Christianity and and is encountering this like crisis in their faith and going like, wait a minute, I thought it was supposed to be different, and and it doesn't feel different. And and to his credit, maybe he's he's like wondering what prayer is for. It sounds like he doesn't know. I don't think he has people around him that are actually probably building not. him up and probably encouraging him because no. it sounds like he hit a wall and then he's like, ah, this isn't working. Let's go elsewhere in the worst way. And it's terrible. I'm not exactly sure, you know, how that functions in terms of like people are like, ah, I believe in Christ and I accept Christ and then they move forward in it. And then it's like, this is difficult. Uh, I'm like, I'm not exactly sure if you were a Christian in the first place because, or you, or there was just the roots never even took root. Or it's like, <laughs> what do, what do we expect? What, the lens we look through is like what you expect and what do you expect out of life? And if you put on the Jesus clothes or, or have a conversion experience or decide to 
dedicate your life to, to Christ, depending on what new lenses you're putting on, if life doesn't match out up with that, your expectations can get violated. And, and then it's like, well, I thought this was the case. That this was what's supposed to be done. That's why actual, like, it's important to for people to know if you are going to quote unquote commit to following Jesus or invite Jesus into your heart, which is never says in the Bible, but I, I get why people do that. It's I like, like your little side note. Knowing where knowing like what does that mean but and then if you're part of a culture that tells you hey this means you will experience persecution guess what you're gonna find persecution i i wouldn't be surprised if the comment that you said earlier about him maybe not having people around him is probably one of the the strongest indicators of what like or strongest influences as, as to why you're seeing him react the way he is i will say this uh my reaction to kanye becoming a christian was different, I think, than it was for some of the other people like Kat Von D. We talked about a couple of weeks ago, Russell Brand as well. Um, some of these like other notable uh, celebrities. And I think mainly it's just because it's from what I've seen, obviously we, we don't know them personally. We can't judge their hearts or their minds or their motives. It just feels different. It, it, it feels a little bit different. Kanye's felt um, strangely really mega public and um absolutely kind of capitalized on in weird ways like i mean he made an album and he's making money from a gospel album i don't know it i, I just felt uh, like a little ambivalent I and guess is what literally I'm to get to. and literally had his name in the in the hat for vp for uh the republican party or or an independent with donald running. Right. For a minute, there was I like... Mean, even if it was just for a speck, it, but that Christianity, that Christianity side threw him into that that hat. And and so... Oh, you think that was it? I don't think that was it. I think it was because he was black and he liked Trump. And, and it was all of like, the, oh, let's, all get, of those let's get the check, black vote. Yeah, all of those check boxes. Black, Christian... I don't know if he was Christian at the time. I don't remember. Well, he added to the... He, he added to yeah. his uh, leverage. Uh, but I... Donald Trump! I gotta, I gotta secure the nomination! <laughs> Jeez, that's my Kanye. I don't know. That's what's... So, I mean, speaking of, like, Trump, every... Republican candidate for president has to do the establish their. I Christian, think we're getting off the topic. No, because it's it's well, we're not going to talk about Trump except that there was like I'm a Christian. There's like his ceremony where he's like he's praying with Christian leaders, kind of at his inauguration. Sounds like you're talking about Trump after you said not talking about Trump. No, I said except that, but he might be the <laughs> ultimate mascot because like he says he's not. He said most Christians were like, yeah, he's not a, he's a baby Christian. People have also said that about Kanye and people are also saying that about Russell Brand, who we'll get to. I'm just a baby. Uh, I mean, ultimately, does it, does it matter if they're a baby Christian or a veteran Christian? I mean, if they've, if, if they've accepted, well, if they've accepted Christ and they're like, this is the life I'm going to live. Obviously, Kanye has, I, I don't know if he's having big questions and doubts and he's like i'm just going in this direction i don't even know if he's throwing it out there because he is he is someone who garners a lot of followers in the social world that he's, he's saying that like oh i'm gonna start a porn company i'm like okay that's gonna get a lot of viral he's <laughs> viral he's videos. previously referred to to himself as having a full-on pornography addiction that destroyed my family. Um, so you can probably say that for a million families across the, yeah, the country. But the fact that he's re-dabbling in that, I, Kanye, I almost not give him a pass, but he might actually be nuts. Like he, he might be, I think there is, it's total a, bipolar. Yeah. Um, and so he's, which he's a creative genius when he's firing and that mania is happening. I think that allows him to create and just, there's no bad ideas. Just keep going, keep pumping them out. And so when that's going well, he's one of the most prolific artists that we've seen. Uh, the downside is like just the, the extreme swings of the pendulum. So maybe he's a one-off. Maybe he's like, okay, but maybe he, this is for notor extra also, notoriety. He's a business person. And yes. And uh, you guys can tell me if this is off base, but I kind of have this, trust was it reagan that said trust but verify 
It's actually a Russian phrase that yeah, Reagan repeated. The oh. K, it's the KGB. Which is actually, be- <laughs> that's like such Cold War <laughs> politics <laughs> where is. he's like, I'll shove this back in your face, Ruskies. Well, we're going to trust, <laughs> and then, but we're going to verify. Hey, Nancy, hey. what do you think? Hey. Oh, I love that. That hey, was my Nancy. Uh, Nancy, do you listen to Kanye? I Just listen to say him. no. <laughs> You um, got a pair of Yeezys in the mail the other day. Just say no to porn and drugs. Wait, was that your Nancy or was that your Ronald? Sounds like he's just saying no to Christianity. <laughs> uh, okay, but the Russell Brand one, can we move move on to him a little bit? Is that all right? Yeah, but, but as, as what I was saying, though, is like I have this current policy, which is anybody famous like this, Russell Brand, Candace Owens, <clears throat> pick your convert now, Kanye. And Kanye has sort of proven this point. Madonna. I don't. I don't trust maybe, anything. Maybe See how not. long it lasts. Everything can. There's, if you are a porn star that is starting to age out of the ideal age range for this, there's a relative. There's a speaking circuit you can go on, but by becoming a Christian and being an ex porn star and talking about the ills of your ways. Now that's very cynical on my part. I don't know their hearts, but there is like, how much of this is a business decision and how much is not? It's tough to tell because that stuff seems to come out eventually. And I think with Kanye, some of this might have been a business decision. I know this is a side note, but on your comments about porn stars that end up becoming Christians, I would hope that that, I mean, it breaks my heart that that's the life they've lived. And, but also if they did accept Christ and they just turned their lives and it was completely changed and they just, they left everything behind. I realize it's the life they live, but we all got crap in, you know, in our lives. But if that happened, that's God, that's amazing. Um, I, I'm because with you. that's a tough, that's a tough life to get out of. And you get probably tossed aside, you know, at an early age. It's just, it's just awful. So I'm, I'm with you and I'm, I'm painting with a broad cynical yeah, brush. Yeah, I know. Um, just okay. to say, like, it's my starting posture is like, great. Now we'll see. I'm not going to like put my trust and be like, yeah, he's on my team or whatever. So that's the the way you describe that, I think, speaks to the heart of this question, which is why do we react more strongly with these types, these types of people, whether it's a porn star or a celebrity or an athlete or a politician who's high visibility, high profile, when it, it implies that for some reason, and I think this is what I've noticed in myself, I... I believe that for some reason it was harder for them to convert than in than another person, a normal not like I said, normal civilian. That it it, it was more difficult. Maybe maybe it was. Maybe one could say, "Hey, they have more to lose." Maybe maybe they're at the end of the rope and there's nothing left for them to 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 turn to. But yeah, and maybe that they're going down the black hole of death and they're like, "But that's not unique." Hmm. No, it's not special. They don't. They don't. They haven't cornered the market on living in sin. Right, right, Jeff. Exactly. <laughs> See, Jeff's working See, on that. Senor. Right now. <laughs> per your opening <laughs> statements, <laughs> that you're so deep in sin. Uh, but there, I, I have caught myself, and, and and I think that's why. I think it's because my expectation is, as a celebrity or as a high profile person, there's this idea that we have that they've. What else could they need? They they're probably in a place of like. I'm happy. I have all the things. I have money. I have fame. I have people around me. Um, I'm able to do the things that I want to. That's good. And and so why would I need God versus a normal person? We struggle with things on a day-to-day basis that we don't have all of those boxes checked. 